Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at uh, WTI oil contracts. And as you can see, um, oil is still trading in the same range. We had um, a breakdown, quite a significant breakdown uh, on Friday's session. We went down to uh, all the way down to uh, 38.61 uh, before just exploding back up to the upside. Um, uh, we had some really positive news about a new treatment. I think it was from Gilead. And this is just becoming a common trend that uh, the news outlet just gives some positive news about this um, uh, vaccine of some sort or a um, uh, new treatment of some sort. And then the market just explodes. If you look at S&P 500 or the other indicators, it's the same thing. However, the problem is that every single time we get one of these um, this news outlets, we found out and if we find out in the weekend that uh, the news isn't as good as it, it was expected, and then the market just plummets on the on Monday session or on Tuesday session and so on, and um, and I kind of expect the same thing to happen here. Um, there is no real reason why we should be this high in the market. But we are here. And we are trading within the same range as we have been trading for the last few weeks. So we have uh, at the moment the lows of a 34 or 45. They're about uh, with the uh, 50 moving averages here. And we have a high of a 44. So um, in the short term, I do expect us to continue trading within, within this range. Um, oil markets like to trade in 10 to 15, $15 ranges. And that's where we, I expect the market to be trading in the short term, at least. Um, I'm not interested in buying or selling this market at the moment. And I'm going to... Uh, answer that question in the end of this video um, because yeah we need something um, some really good positive news in order to get this market to go higher or we need some significant bad news in order to get my, this market to go uh, go lower and then I'll be interested in buying or shorting this um, however if we look at what has happened historically we have basically a coronavirus um, effect coming into effect here and the market just absolutely uh, crashed we had in this period oversupply um, in the market and and not enough demand the economy was actually uh, uh, shrinking and the world economy was basically shrinking at this point and when the coronavirus hit, uh, it also hit the demand substantially. And therefore, we also we have this uh, absolute crash in the market. But we have been here before and we have seen this, um, this uh, behavior of the oil market before. And if we go a little bit back, we have an instant, an instant here. It was in, in uh, 2018. And this is basically... Donald Donald Trump's uh, infamous Iran tweet that he tweeted here when we were around uh, 75, where I think he tweeted that oil prices are um, too high and he was going to sanction Iran or something like that. Or something like that. Basically, what he did, he, he with his one tweet, he basically crashed the oil market. He went from 75 all the way down to... to uh, $42 within a span of only a, a few weeks. And what we saw after that is that if we look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can, we can see that we just got above the 200 moving average and also the Fibonacci retracement before going back down. And this scenario here looks very similar to to that scenario. Uh, this is uh, a more bullish scenario than 
and we then I expect it to happen here um, because the world economy was doing quite well in this in this era. There was uh, quite a lot of demand. The, the same demand is not present at this moment. However, if we look at the Fibonacci retracement for this period, we can see that we are near the uh, 65. Uh, no, 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement, um, which will pretty sure be major uh, resistant. Um, if we were to break this, we will hit the 200 moving average, which also will be major resistant. Um, I, in the short term, I do not expect us to 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 to. Um, to uh, to break the 200 moving average, uh, we may hit the 200 moving average uh, and the Fibonacci retracement at some point, maybe next week, late next week. But uh, do expect to uh, to uh, to see sellers come in and sell this market. Um, and I would also say that if we were to and get to this level here, I will also be a seller. Um, I'm technically just waiting for us to, to uh, the market to go to the 200 moving average or go down to the 50 moving average in order to buy. I do expect us to, to trade within this range for uh, some time. Um, and I don't expect us to go substantially higher because we do not still don't see the um, the effects of the coronavirus, and we still have earnings season coming up, and we'll see how it has affected companies' earnings. Some companies will go bankrupt. Um, I'm almost guaranteed that several oil companies um, and producer of natural gas and so on will go go bankrupt because. Uh, this was just such a um, blow to their finances that, yes, uh, we will see some turmoil in the market for the foreseeable future. However, if you look at uh, the technical indicators, we can see that uh, stochastic is about to go past the signal line again, indicating that we will go higher from here. Um, same goes for the RSI. We have a spike up. Uh, we're not overbought or oversold, so we may go and go a little bit higher from here. And the MACD, well, it's trending downwards. So we have two indicators that are indicating we're going higher, and one indicator is indicating that we're going lower. But at the moment, I'm not a buyer. I'm not a seller. I'm just waiting for this market either to go and uh, test uh, this this level here, which is the 34, or this level around here, which is the which is the 35 level. At the moment, we are right in the middle. Um, I, if I were to uh, buy or sell at the moment. I would take an absolute gamble. It can go either way, 50-50, as we also can see with indicators that they are not very helpful at the moment because we we could basically go upwards or we can go downwards. And so the best tactics at the moment is just technically wait and see what happens. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you're welcome to, to uh, like this video and uh, share it and uh, uh, hit the subscribe button in order to, um, to see our future videos. So thank you very much.